What's up everybody, it's Jack and Dan again. Today, we got an exciting unboxing from George at Aquaballs. Yeah, our buddy George over there at Aquaballs, we've been talking about him and his channel for quite a while. Um, gave him a big, huge shout out to try to get him to a thousand. He made it to a thousand subscribers, which is really awesome. He does an amazing job. His channel is awesome. He breeds fish. And we've been talking to him about getting angels for this tank for quite some time now. He has these amazing blue avatar angels that we have really wanted for a long time. We did a video on how this tank that used to be here that we refurbished kind of leaked for the second time. We got tired of it. We did a video on the new stand. We did a video on how we got the 75 from one of our subscribers and we redid it, everything. We put it all together. And then we did a video about how we added, how we put the plecos back in here and we added another vampire pleco after we took a trip to something fishy. And then we did a bunch of videos of something fishy. And if you haven't seen those, you've got to see them. Um, if we haven't released them yet, because if we do this in some kind of weird order, they're coming up. So definitely check them out when they do. You're not going to believe this guy. So we have two amazing boxes of these Avatar Angels. Plus, I think he threw in some other surprises and things like that. So let's open these up and let's check out what George sent us. All right, Jack's going to go ahead and start opening those real quick. And just to recap... Here's what's going on in here. We've got the bamboo coming out the top, which we totally love. We've got the strawberry pots, the under gravel lighting that goes into there. Lacey apparently saw something she didn't like. This is a eucalyptus kind of trunk. We put a bunch of different Anubias on it. We have some broadleaf Anubias, and we have some regular thin leaf Anubias. The broadleaf has kind of these segmented leaves, and the thin leaf does not. We kind of mixed them in there together and they're doing awesome. This has been set up for about a month and it's had two galaxy plecos, otherwise known as vampire plecos in them. And then you can see just the nose here of this wonderful and beautiful albino sailfin who's also in there with them. We did add this little extra galaxy pleco that we got from something fishy and he or she seems to be doing quite well. We're hoping to breed them out of the three, we're hoping we have a male-female match. We have a bunch of caves in there for them, and we may even add more. So, here's what Jack's doing. He's going to open these up here. We're going to take all these guys out. We're going to kind of acclimate them to the tank here. Okay, in the middle of opening this, the battery died, so we had to, <laughs> we had to get the other uh, camera. Look at this. Oh, super cool. So he gave us a little letter. We'll have to open that. Look at that. Aquaballs keychain. That is so cool. He sent us two of them in here. Lacey's upset. Lace, come on. We're doing an unboxing. She's like, no, someone walk out of the house. I don't care. Give us some, uh, give us some plants. plants. Polysperma. Rosa near, near view. Hygrophilia. We have some more plants. These are nice. That uh, look like uh, cilantro a little bit. Not sure where we're going to put them, but awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll probably put those okay, in... Good job. Probably put those in the man cave right now, just to have a place to put them. And then we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll end up kind of adding more to this tank and putting them on the tree in there or something. Or in the back. Soft and, uh, Maybe we'll put them in the Green Lantern tank. Because the Green Lantern tank has sponge filters and not an undergravel filter, so we could put them in there maybe. Yeah, we, we will find a space for them. Wow, this is really wrapped up good, huh? Uh huh. Is it like a diaper? Uh, I no. I, I know like people have done in that. It's one of those like uh, incontinent no, pads or something. Too big. <laughs> Unless you can buy it in multiple of them. Do you need your knife? No, I think I got it. Okay. It's good. Okay. Here, all their little tiny packages. Oh, wow. Look at these guys. Holy mackerel. Oh, so cute. Oh, they're, they have their own little package. They're each in their own package, individually wrapped? Are you <laughs> kidding me? Oh, look at them. It's Coolest thing there. ever. They're look gorgeous. Their yeah, they're a good size. You can already see the blue on them, even yeah. though they're young. See the blue on the top. Well, we're going to go ahead and open all these guys up, and we're just going to float them all in here. Yeah, they're in the so we're just going to... <laughs> that is awesome, George. You're a pro, buddy. Yeah, no actually, question that's, about that's it. Really just cool. go ahead and start putting them in there, <laughs> and we'll just put them all on the top it's here. Like, it's like a pickle bag. 
and then we will be back in a second. Oh, like an individual pickle yeah. bag. <laughs> okay, he did say in his email that he might send some epistogrammas, and that's what I think this guy is. Not sure we're going to put these. I think we'll put these guys in the... We could kind of put these guys probably in your bridge there's, tanks, there's honestly. Another one. Yeah, another one? Real blue guy here. Oh wow, you can see his blue. He's pretty big. What about what if we put these guys in your bridge tank? Uh, sure. These guys, I'm gonna go take those in there. I think. Lace, come here. You gonna help Jack? There's so many little fish in here. <laughs> What's in there? What's in there? Say thanks, George. <laughs> wow, there's so many. Look at this whole thing's full. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There's like over twenty or something in here. Each one of these has an angel. And then the two epistles are in your tank. That's so neat. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna let those guys acclimate for a little bit. Wanted to kind of show this. Not only did they give us these awesome keychain things, some um, awesome stickers. So we're definitely going to, I told George, I said, let us know. We want to send you some Jack and Dan swag. So definitely let us know, George. I'll send you some stickers. If you want some t-shirts, let us know what size, color, stuff like that. And we'll send you some stuff like that. Or if you want a Jack and Dan fanny pack, the fanny packs are awful popular, aren't they, Lace? <laughs> She's like, I don't care. So they sent us a card. Really, really, really nice. Thanks for supporting our channel. We hope you like the angels. We are very excited about them, guys. Let us know if you have any questions. The Aqua Balls family, Marie, George, and the boys. Very, 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 very nice. So um, here's what we decided to do with the, with the plants. For now, we're just going to put them in the Green Lantern tank. We're just going to kind of let them float right here for a while. Um, and then we're going to find out well, probably tomorrow. Um plant them or decide what we're going to do with them and again when we do a follow-up on this tank they will be you know in that video and stuff like that so that'll be upcoming thank you so much for those plants we're definitely going to put them in there <clears throat> Lace, don't worry so first thing we're going to do is let's go um let's let all these guys acclimate we'll show the epistos and then we'll come back and show these guys okay while well, jack is kind of putting all those in that tank I am going to put these, look at this big male Garami sitting in the bridge. How cool is he? So I'm basically just going to take these two Epistos and I'm just going to kind of stick them in the top and let them acclimate a little bit. We're kind of thinking that they might do kind of good in there and we'll see how it goes. He just came out of the bridge. He's like, what's going on over here? Look at that beauty. He's checking them out. <laughs> okay, so here's the two little Epistogrammas right here in the bridge tank. They're kind of hanging out on the bottom. And these are some of the snails. Now, these lights just turned on, so these guys are kind of sleeping. These are the snails, of course, that we got from Pelham's Aquatics. Jeff Pelham sent us those not too long ago. Really, really cool. This is the end tank, and we usually put new fish in here. Of course, there's all the um, wonderful bristle nose living in here. But these guys seem pretty cool. They're kind of hanging out in this little log thing. Look at him. He's like, hey, what's up, dude? And, of course, the pearl garami are in here and the big gold garami. And usually after fish get kind of acclimated, we put them here because this one seems to have less fish in it usually. Um, after they get acclimated and stuff and feel more comfortable, if they go through the bridge, then they'll go, of course, to the big 40. And then if they want to go over to the last one, they can go to the last one through the long bridge. Um, Jack put the big aqua ball sticker right there. Perfect spot for it right next to Joseph's Tropical Tanks. And by Wheel Assassin, that's the picture Wheel Assassin made of us in Minecraft. We got made in Minecraft. Isn't that cool? That's nuts. <laughs> there is Foxy's Fish. And, of course, we got MBR from Spain. What an awesome guy. Lots of awesome YouTubers, people all over the world who sent us their stickers and stuff like that. And now you're up there, George, with everybody else. Isn't that cool? So these little guys, we'll check up on them. They should be fine in these tanks, quite honestly. Um, and we'll kind of keep an eye on them, and we'll see how they do. And if they need to get moved or go somewhere else, we'll move them. 
Usually garamis are pretty nice in these bristle nose. Most of these are females over here in this tank. They should be fine. So we'll kind of see how everything goes. Let's go ahead out and check out those angels and get that opened up, huh? Yep. O-M-G. Am I right, dude? They're like little shiny quarters. Wow, they're, man. They're awesome. I love how angelfish just like levitate. Yeah. Just... These guys are awesome. There's like over 20. Not a single problem with a single one. They all look incredibly healthy. What a professional job. Look at that guy right there. He's landing. Yeah, this guy's going up here. He's like, I'm going to check this scene I mean, out they, up here, they, dude. They, they, He's a leader. He's like, I'm not a follower. I'm a leader. No dead going ones. up here. Not, not, not even one that was even injured. Yeah, Sweat. they all look absolutely amazing. And you can see the blue kind of coming through. They're already coloring up. They're so happy in here. <laughs> Cannot. Oh, look at the blue on that one right there. Look at the blue on them. What a handsome bunch of devils. Look at them. You know what? And the fact that we left the pebbles like this after we redid it is so cool because these guys match it so there's a pretty big one back there the galaxies are like what what are all these guys look at his face he's like what's going on here we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna look, yeah, how many, look how many there are there's more over here there's more behind the tree we're gonna turn this light off here yeah, a little less glare individually wrapped pickle bag. yeah how amazing oh my goodness gracious love love these guys the what a professional job george you're the man if you want fish guys he definitely did an amazing job they're mm -hmm. not angry they're not attacking each other they're just perfectly happy they're, they're totally digging they're it this guy's condition. like cleaning off the glass he's like what's up we'll probably feed him um i'm just so excited about these guys aren't you yeah, I mean, they're awesome. We initially wanted to do this as an angelfish tank like forever ago, but then, oh, you know, yeah. we had the problems yeah. with the leaking and the redoing and everything else. Um, really, really loving how this is doing. Look at this guy. He's just like up in the middle. He's like, what's now this whole it's, tree? It's, it's perfect. It's this tree all about here. Man, I love they're gonna this. We're going to congregate more probably tomorrow over the end of tonight. Yeah. To they're just looking at you. They're like, you're going to put some food in, dude? Well, let's get them some food and see if they eat and stuff because, you know, they haven't eaten for a couple days. Okay, I got the overhead light off just so you could see a little better. Jack's kind of going to put some flakes in here. They might not eat right away because they're just kind of getting used to it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> they're kind of they're kind of checking it out right away, though. They might be a little might be a little soon for them. But anyway, we'll put a little in there. We'll let it sit. We'll see if they eat. We'll check back on them a little bit. And um, they'll probably head up there to the top. Oh, there, as it starts falling. Maybe they'll get some. Let's see if they... Take some bites over here. Go look at a side view here. Oh yeah, look at this guy. He's eating already. They might eat right away as it starts to fall. We're not sure what they're used to eating, so it might be a little different, but yeah, it looks like they're picking at it already. Look at these guys. These are just some like Tetra Flakes. We kind of just grind them up in our fingers when we put them in. Looks like quite a few of them are taking bites already, so that's Slowly cool. Falls like oh yeah, look at these guys. They're going for it. There's a big they're, algae wafer. I can imagine they're pretty hungry because uh, George fasted them. Yeah, you got to fast before you send them George so that they don't basically go to the bathroom in the bag. And All right. All right, guys. It's the next afternoon of the day after I got up and had to start working right away real early this morning. Jack hasn't started school yet, so you've been out doing the watering and some kind of yard work stuff, right? Farming, yes. <laughs> Farming work, yard work. Um, basically, we're taking a little break here this afternoon. And we're checking on these guys. We turned the lights on a little bit ago. The lights don't normally turn on until more in the evening because we get a lot of sunlight, but we want to be able to show it good in the video. We're going to feed these guys again. We're going to show how they're doing it every day. All right, so Jack's feeding these guys. They are going right for it. <laughs> they seem to really be digging this tank. The plecos were out here. I threw some algae wafers in, but they get a little skittish when we turn that light on. We like to turn the light on when we're shooting a video, but then we turn the light back off you know, so you could see better. But uh, we got the three vampires in here doing well. The big sail fin was out, but she got spooked and jumped in one of the vases. But look at these guys, man. They're just tearing it up this morning. Just killing it. Eating real good. They slept real good. Digging the tank. Super cool. So this is our second meal in here. They've been in here for about... Yeah, 14, 15 hours. 
Everybody's doing real good this morning. Not a single one of them is on the bottom. They're all up at the top. They're all eating. They look beautiful in here. Chances are, if they start to grow and get bigger, we may end up putting some in the 220. We are going to be rescaping it. That's going to be a huge project this fall. That'll be in phases. Probably work on it a little bit every weekend for a few weekends in a row. That guy's going to get a whole rescaping. Um, this guy we're going to be kind of rescaping and doing some work on too. We are going to incorporate those plants that uh, George gave us, but for now they're just kind of floating in there. And uh, we are going to be redoing some stuff on there. That'll be a whole separate video like we said. But we just wanted to do a little update here. They're doing fantastic. Yeah, basically with the smaller fish like this, we just kind of grind the flakes in between our fingers and you can see it makes little bits like this. So it's just like a little snowfall. They're just going around grabbing them with this little guy. But they are gorgeous. We really think they look good in here, man. Don't they match this tank really well? Yes, they do. We really knew that they would. I mean, we really knew that they <laughs> I would. I get the whole flake and you slurk it up. You just suck the whole thing up? Yeah. They're doing awesome. I mean, just loving this tank. At the end of this video, for those who have not seen this tank, we'll do like a little nighttime thing. I'll look at the sailfin poking her head out. She does that. She's funny. She's like, are you guys gone yet? Because I want to get out and eat later. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little shy sometimes yeah basically we have a starry night background and we also have an under gravel light that shoots up into these and changes colors so we'll put a little thing at the end for those that are new uh to see in this tank come on don't be shy there you go <laughs> she's like i want some of this food she couldn't resist it anymore she's like i don't care if you have the camera out i'm going for it these guys are great they just go around have to eat the algae wafers that we throw in they just go around and pick up all these little bits and pieces on the bottom so we just want to say thanks one more time to george over at aqua balls again if you haven't checked out his channel it's really really cool we'll put links in the description we talked to george for a long time on the phone it was really nice to connect we've connected with so many people since we started this youtube channel it's really neat isn't it it is yeah i mean there's a lot of people you get to talk to and stuff and it's cool it's really neat to connect with somebody from so far away just because of you know, YouTube and being able to share such an awesome hobby together. So we really appreciate these guys. We really appreciate the great deal you gave us on them. And again, check out their channel. We'll put links and everything if you haven't. And we just want to say thanks so much. Yeah, I mean, we haven't had angles in a long, long time and they're all in healthy, perfect condition. So thank you, George, for sending us, uh, sending them to us. I mean, they're, they're awesome. I like them. Yeah, I really missed having angels. Angels are my first fish ever. Well, they're honestly one of my favorite fish. I mean, not the most. Yeah. My most probably plot boats, but they are really cool. And these guys are really neat. So we're going to do updates on them so you guys can watch them grow. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when we upload those videos. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.